Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am not... This look that I'm wearing is from a different video because I've forgotten to film the intro to this one. So I'm just gonna make it short and snappy because who the fuck gives a shit about intros anyway. But this is the three looks, one palette using the Sydney Grace and Temptalia Quintessence palette. I have to say... I have loved playing with this. I think it's such a fun palette. I feel like every look that I did was different and I think every time I look at it I think of something new to do and I think the mattes that are in here are so beautiful in terms of like color choice. I think they work together well with themselves and also with the shimmers that she paired. I think that everything about this palette is lovely. I think the black, I love the addition of a black, you know me, and I love the tones in here of the mattes and the shimmers, and I think there's so much you can do. I think this palette is so, so versatile, truly, and I absolutely have loved it. Um, I give my thoughts on the palette at the end, so let's just get into the three looks using this palette. Okay, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> um, today, this is, the, this is the first look in the three looks one palette using the uh, Sydney Grace Quintessence palette uh, in collaboration with Temptalia. I used this uh, in my first impressions video, so I'm excited to dive back in to these palettes because I, I am so curious in terms of how they're gonna perform I don't know I just anyway okay so I'm just going to start with a separate palette just a neutral brown shade I'm gonna use the same shade actually that I used in my first impressions the shade bossa nova from the Kaleidos escape pod palette and I'm quickly just going to run this through my crease just to help with blending and provide a little transitiony shade just because I do have the deep palette and the matte shades are a little bit deeper, which is not a complaint. It's a pref honestly a preference, but I just think I need one lighter shade in my crease to just blend it out. Okay, so I just threw that shade into my crease. I also primed my eyes using my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, and I set my lids as well, just for reference. I'm going to start with the shade Parallax right here. It's a matte taupe shade. I actually really, really love this shade a lot. Um, and I'm going to take this, wow, that's really pigmented, and I'm going to put this on my um, inner and outer corner of my eye, and I'm going to connect it. I'm going to do a halo eye today. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shade Reaching Zenith, which is this gray bluey shade, and I'm going to use this to deepen everything up. Okay, so I just built that up and then blended all of that out with a little bit more parallax. 
Now I'm just going to quickly cut the middle of my lid um, and be back. <laughs> okay, so my eyes are, my crease is cut essentially. Um, I'm going to take the, say, the shade Parallax, that taupey shade, and just tap this to blend um, my shadows just on like the edges of the concealer. And then I'm going to take that just a little, very lightly, just around um, my crease. And then I'm going to take the shade Reaching Zenith, which was that darker, like, bluish gray. And just um, further deepen my inner and outer corner. And then I'm going to take that on a little tiny brush and just place that on the very edges of my crease, just to further that definition. Now that that's all done, I'm going to first take the shade My Constellation, which is a really beautiful, like, dark plum, metallic plummy shade. I, I use this a little bit in my first impressions, but not in any major way. I'm going to give that a spray and I'm going to put this on the edges of my lid. But I'm going to leave a space in the middle. Okay, so that's laid down. It's really pretty. It has like a almost silver sheen to it. And now I'm going to go into the shade Serious Starlight, which is basically like a, t a silver shade. I'm also going to give that a little spray. And I'm going to put that right in the center. They feel just like very traditional metallics. They don't feel like anything I've never felt before. They're pretty, they're reflective, um, but it's not like, whoa, these are insane, you know? Which is not a value judgment that's not good or bad. It's just, it's what it's, you know? Okay, <laughs> and I'm going to take um, my constellation on the other side of this brush a little bit and then just um, blend oh, between the two. Okay, well, don't do what I did and just put that right in the center, but I'm just trying to blend them together. I don't know why I'm having such a difficult time with this. I think because... The shade My Constellation has like a silver shine, so it just like make, keeps, in my big mirror, it just makes it look like it's like not blended or that it's like not there, um, especially in contrast to this like true like silvery shade, so it's like tricking my eye. Um, okay, so I think I've blended that to the best of my ability. I don't really know. I'm just going to take a little bit more parallax and try to like bl blend the edges. I don't know why I'm having such a struggle blending those into each other. I legitimately think that it's just the silver shine and the My Constellation shade that just makes it look a bit weird. I don't know why. Just maybe specifically in this look paired with these shades. It just makes it, I don't know. Now I'm just gonna take my Constellation and Sirius Starlight on my fingers 
and just use that to intensify these two colors. Now I'm just quickly taking the Bossa Nova shade from the Kaleidos palette that I used as a transition shade and just buffing over the edges to help everything blend one more time. And then I'm going to take the shade Serious Starlight just a little tiny little bit of that on my brow bone. For my lower lash line, you could probably guess, I'm just going to keep everything pretty simple. I'm going to take the shade Parallax and just bring that all the way down and blend it out. And then I'm going to take the shade Raging Zenith and just deepen up my lower lash line. And finally, I'm just going to blend everything out using the taupe shade from the Kaleidos palette. For my inner corners, I'm going to take Serious Starlight again. Um, I think I'm going to give this a little bit of a spritz and just place this right here. It's really, this is actually a really beautiful silver shade. And then I'm going to take, just on that same brush, I'm going to take Serious Starlight one more time, give that one more spray, and then put that right on my bottom lash line right underneath where it is and on my like lid and then drag it down and I'm gonna take that a little bit wider than I have before like so it matches basically the width of the shadow on my top lash line and then bring it down not probably not too much farther than how far I've blended out my um, lower lash line. Okay, so that's basically it. I'm going to just quickly finish up the rest of my face, like my eyes and my lips, and then be back. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. I really like it, grungy, smoky, cool toned. I just put a black in my waterline. I On my lips, I used the Annabelle Big Show Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Avant Garde, which I haven't used in a long time, and it used to be like my favorite lip product ever. And my lashes are just random lashes from Amazon. <laughs> so. um, yeah, I, I do like this look. I like the end result. I don't know why I had such a hard time blending the metallics on my lid, which is like, completely fucking bizarre to me. I have like, that's never a problem that I would have expected to have had. And you know what? I actually think it's just because the shade of my constellation, which is this dark like plummy shade, has a very, like it's very silvery, um, the shine on it, which is not super obvious when you just look at it in the pan. And I think just like the way that it was reflecting the light on my lid just made it look like patchy to my eye. Um, and so I was like, why is this not blending? I think that's kind of what was going on. Now it looks fine. I really, really like it. I think I'm just super excited to keep dipping into this palette. Um, especially with like the cool tone, how cool tones are so in right now. I can't even take myself seriously when I say that, but <laughs> cool tones are popular and I don't have an abundance of cool tones and I love the way particularly the way these two shades parallax and reaching zenith pair together i think it's super super pretty um yeah i'm a fan i'm a fan i'm a fan i like the way it ended up ending up and ended up, it ended up looking anyway okay i need to go <laughs> okay let's get into the second look hello 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 it is the second look using the Sydney Grace and Temtalia Quintessence Palette. Okay, good times. I'm going to start quickly with the transition shade that's not in this palette. Um, I believe my plan is to use the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette. I'm gonna take the shade Bon Fresco, which is like a little purpley shade and just use this as a transition shade now I'm going to go into the shade of Parallax, which is this taupey shade. I used this in the first look. And I'm going to just bring this on my outer corner and also bring it through my crease. 
I really love this tone of this shadow. It's such a beautiful taupe. Now I'm going to go into the shade Reaching Zenith, with I, which I also used in the last look. And I'm going to use this to deepen everything up. I'm going to bring this through my outer corner and my crease as well. Okay, so I'm just going to hop off camera, cut my crease, and be right back. Okay, so I'm going to just take the shade Parallax, just run this over the front part of my eye, and then stamp this on my lid for a transition. And then I'm going to take Reaching Zenith and basically do the same thing. Now I'm going to take the shade Orion Nebula, which is this like berry pinky tone. I'm going to spray that and I'm going to put this in the center of my lid. It's definitely very satin. Um, it doesn't have a huge amount of shine to it. Now I'm going to go into the shade The Milky Way, which is this really beautiful like pinky green duochrome with a little bit of more sparkle to it. I'm going to take that, also give that a little spray, and then put that on the inner part of my lid. Okay, so now I'm just going to take um, each of the sh like the shades on either side of this brush that I have, and I'm just going to gently blend back and forth just to blend the shimmers together, just flipping like back and forth on either side of this brush. And then I'm going to take each of those shades on my fingers just to intensify them. I really find that fingers are the way to go with these metallics, like. I'm surprised by their performance using a brush, to be honest, because they are just like relatively like traditional metallic shades. I wasn't quite expecting that, but they definitely perform better with my fingers, I'm finding. And I'm actually just going to take a tiny little brush with, with the shade Reaching Zenith, which was that darkest shade, and just use this to define around this um, cut crease just
to enhance, like, em emphasize the shape a little bit more. And then I'm just going to take the shade Bon Fresco. So that very first transition shade that I use and very lightly blend it all around the edges. And then I'm going to take the shade Serious Starlight, which is this like taupey silver shade. I'm going to take just a little tiny bit of this on my brow bone. And now I'm just going to finish up my lower lash line. So I'm basically just going to do all the same things. I'm going to take the shade Parallax all along my lower, lower lash line here. And then I'm going to take Reaching Zenith and deepen my lower lash line with this shade. And then I'm just going to take that transition shade and just run this or just use this to blend my lower lash line out as well. And then just to finish everything off, I'm going to take Serious Starlight. I'm going to give that one little spray and then put that in my inner corner. Okay, so that's basically it. I'm just going to finish up the rest of my face, my la like liner, lashes, lips, and then be back to conclude. Okay, this is the finished look. I'm really into it. Um, still <laughs> not, not summer appropriate at all, but <laughs> whatever. Um, I really, I, this, um, oh my god, this red shade is not super shiny, but I love the tone of it. It's like, really beautifully in the middle between like a pink and red and I love the way it looks like as a pop against all this cool tone. I am a fan. Um, I will say like I, I still did, I don't love the way these metallics perform with a brush. Perhaps like this flat type brush is not the way to go because it hasn't been like super great for me but I do really love the way they apply it with fingers. Um, although I don't like, I typically use my fingers for metallics, but it's not like I don't exclusively use my fingers for metallics. I do like to go in with a brush first. That's just been my experience thus far. Um, but I really, really love this look. On my lips, I used Makeup Forever, Endless Cacao, you already know, and then, um, the Maybelline Powder powder or power powder matte lipstick in the shade carnival brown although this perhaps is discontinued which is honestly a shame because it's such a beautiful cool tone brown and then i just put a little bit of concealer in the center of my lips just to lighten it up a bit and that's all she wrote and then i just put a black in my waterline and my lashes are bold face makeup dream big that's all that i have to say <laughs> okay hello welcome to the last look in the three looks one palette using the sydney grace and temptalia quintessence palette i'm going to use i think exclusively the exclusively this palette today no extra palettes or anything like that i'm going to start with the shade parallax which is i've used it in every single look um very lightly as my transition shade So I just very lightly use that as a transition shade. Now I'm going to go into the shade Interstellar, which is this matte, kind of like darker teal. I've never used this before, so I'm excited to use it today. I'm going to take this through my outer corner and bring it through my crease as well.
construction going on outside my window, of course. Um, I'm sure you can hear it. We're gonna move past it. Hopefully, you can hear me. And we're just gonna finish this look up because I don't have time for this. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go into the shade Reaching Zenith, which is that dark, like, gray blue shade, and just use that to deepen everything up. So the noise has stopped for a, <laughs> a little bit. Um, now I'm going to go into the shade Galactic Muse, which is this really beautiful like green right here. I gave it a little spray and now I'm just gonna put that in the center of my lid. And now I'm going to go into the shade uh, Borealis, which is this, I can't really see my screen, but it's this green with like a gold sparkle to it. I'm going to wet that as well and then put that on the inner part of my eye. Okay, that's I just love these shades I think they're super pretty so I'm gonna take the shade interstellar which actually blended out really well considering how like dark of a like teal it is and I'm just gonna run that through the front and then also bring that onto my lid a little bit just to blend everything together and then I'm gonna take a little bit more of reaching zenith and just blend this Basically use this slightly to blend out the two greens and then I'm just going to use this to slightly deepen at my outer corner as well And then I'm going to take um, Parallax one more time just a slight touch of that and run that over the edge and then I'm going to take a Galactic Muse and Borealis and on my finger and intensify both of these shades And I'm gonna take a little pencil brush now in the shade The Milky Way, which is this like purple green duochrome. I'm gonna take that a little bit and I'm going to place this just in the front part of my eye, right above where I put that Borealis shade. I don't really know why I feel like I wanna do this, but I don't know. I think it kinda of could look cool. And I've been enjoying like shimmer, more shimmer heavy looks recently, so I'm trying to lean into that. Although, it definitely shows up more green over that darker shadow. But it doesn't look super intense. And then I'm going to take Serious Starlight, which is that silver taupey shade and use this to highlight my brow bone. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade Interstellar, which is that green. And I'm bringing this all along my lower lash line and I'm going to blend it out as well. And now I'm actually going to take the shade Umbra, which is this dark black. 
on a smaller pencil brush and I'm actually just going to place this all along my lower lash line. I'm going to take a little bit more of the parallax shade and just blend um, my lower lash line out. Again, going in with a light hand with that. And then now I'm going to take the shade Celestial Bloom, which is this like purpley blue shade. Um, I'm going to take that on like one of the brushes that I used for my eyelid and just clean it off. So like a flat shader brush, I'm going to give this a spray and I'm going to put this on top of the black on my lower lash line because I want to have that depth that the black gives but I want I think it could be pretty to have this like darker blue purpley shade shine through as well you know what I'm gonna just use my pinky for this to be honest yeah I might blend that out a tiny bit I don't want to blend it away. And lastly, I'm going to take Serious Starlight and put that on my inner corner. All right, so that is basically all that I'm going to do. I'm going to finish up my eyes, put something on my lips, and then be back to give my like final thoughts on this palette. Okay, and this is the finished look. Um, I had actually some fallout from this look on this side of my face, so if this area is a little bit green, that's why from the shimmers. Um, I tried to fix it, but I don't think it did a great job. On my lips, I went with something different, a little bit more warm toned because I felt like all of the lips that I was was doing was really cool toned. I don't know if I, I like this lip. I don't know if I like it with this, but it's on. I use the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Cold Brew, which is new to me. And then I also use the ColourPop Lipstick in Butter. And then I put a little bit of concealer in the middle of my lips to lighten it up. So overall, my thoughts, my feelings, oh, and I'm using the Bold Faced Makeup Lashes in Dream Big. Okay, <laughs> now my thoughts on this palette. I actually like it. I do. I I wasn't like, I, I definitely needed all three looks plus my first impressions to fully make an opinion about this palette. Um... The first look I did, I really, really liked it in my first impressions video. Um... But I wasn't, like, just because Sydney Grace is so overwhelmingly hyped and we're in the middle of, like, or it just ended their Christmas in July sale, so, like, it's been on my mind and, um, I just felt like I needed to take, like, a lot, like, time to think about it. Overall, I'm not going to lie to you, I've loved every single look that I've done. I've loved the way they've come out. I really, really love the color story of this palette a lot. I think there's so much you can do with it. And even after doing four looks, I still look at this palette and think of different color combinations and different looks that I can do. And I feel like all three looks that I've done in this video have been very different from each other. And I've just enjoyed thoroughly playing with this palette and I look forward to playing it with it more. In terms of the formula, which is the ultimate question really, um, I, the mattes really, I like a lot. They blend really well, they're pigmented. Even this shade that I used today, the shade Interstellar, which is like a darker teal because I do, I think I've mentioned it, but I do have the deep version of this. For being like a dark teal, blended out really, really well. Like I'm impressed by the mattes. I have no issues using them. They blend, they build, they're pigmented, um, but they don't like stick down. Although I do use my eyeshadows over a set base. And I 
have been thoroughly impressed with them. I really like the shades that she chose in this palette. I think they complement all of the shimmers really well. Every look that I've done has been like so beautifully grungy and cool toned. The metallics as well, I love the color choice. I will say there are a lot of different finishes in this palette. So you have like this Orion Nebula shade, which is this red, is more of like a true satin, I would say. And then we have more textured shadows, like this shade Sirius Starlight, um, Borealis even uh, Celestial Bloom a little bit are a little bit more textured, more foiled, more sparkly and bright. And then we have some like true, just like regular metallics, which like is like the Milky Way. I would say Galactic Muse and My Constellation are like that as well. Same with Aurora, um, where they're not like super sparkly. They're not super like chunky, but they're a really good like straight up metallic formula. We have also some duochromes. The Milky Way and Aurora are like duochrome to me. Borealis isn't quite like a duochrome, but it does have like a gold shimmer to it. And I think these shades are beautiful. I really, really do. And I like that they have like a ton of different finishes because I feel like it makes it interesting. And I don't know. I like it. I would be lying though if I said that I I wish that like every sh metallic shade was the formula of Sirius Starlight or um yeah or what or Borealis where it's a little bit sparklier, a little bit more interesting, a little bit brighter um because I just that's the way that I prefer my metallics and my shimmers to be. However, that probably makes this palette more accessible to a wider range of consumers because you have different finishes, whereas not everyone, I know it's shocking, is not going to be like super into the super, super glitzy, like sparkly shadows. Um, it really comes down to personal preference. If you know, like, it's not really sparkly, like, indie shimmers. They're just like good, solid metallic shades. If you know that you're going to be disappointed by that, don't buy this because it's not going to live up to your expectations. But I think it, I don't know, I, I do like it. Um, it's just ultimately going to come down to personal preference, obviously. The only thing though that I will say is that I did have a little bit of a difficult time using these metallic shades with brushes which is not something i expected at all now i use like these flat little brushes like almost like flat concealer brushes um but i and they just don't translate that well using these brushes i think if you had something that was a little bit more textured and less super super dense you'd have a better payoff i just don't have like a shader brush like that in my brush collection but if you have one that's almost like like this urban decay brush but maybe even a little bit like slimmer something that's not like so flat I think it would pick up the texture of the shadows better I just don't have that um, so I felt like for me the best way 100% was to use my fingers and then they performed well but on a brush they weren't my favorite which I honestly wasn't expecting considering how everyone is like Sydney Grace is like the best best quality ever. In terms of like that claim I I like the mattes particularly I think they're really really good and I'm excited to use them again like it's a really solid good matte formula. I'm not gonna I haven't used this palette and been like oh my god i like this is the best like shadow formula I've ever used by any stretch of the imagination. I think it's good. I think it's solid. I don't think the mattes impressed me but like in general this palette hasn't like blown me out of the water and I'm not like Sydney Grace is like my favorite eyeshadow formula ever. Maybe for mattes like it, they're definitely up there but I'd have to use the other palettes as well. Um, but I, I think it's solid. Like, there's no inconsistencies. They perform the way they should. Um, they're pretty. They're pretty, like, beautiful colors. And I think you can do truly so much with this palette and get so much variation in terms of looks 
just using this as well um, not even bringing in additional palettes so that I really love about it I really like the packaging it's like a sturdy palette it feels good it has a mirror it's like perfect amount of shades in my opinion I just I really really love this formula wise it's good but I'm not like I don't know like I'm not screaming off the rooftops about like Sydney Grace's quality necessarily that's kind of my two cents on this palette so I think going into it if you're interested in this you really like the color story maybe you haven't tried Sydney Grace's formula before um if you go into it knowing like the metallics they're not Kaleidos metallics they're not even like Pat McGrath or like sparkly metallics they're just like regular metallics if you go into that knowing that going into that this purchase knowing that and you like the color story i think you're gonna love this palette if you want more from your shimmers i think you're gonna be disappointed i obviously like my preference is more like impactful sparkly shimmers but i do like this i think it's really great i've had so truly so much fun playing with it I've looked forward to every single one of like these filming these looks and I'm truly excited to play more with this um like range of palettes and I really love the color story I think it's one of the more unique color stories of palettes that I have in my collection which is saying a lot so yeah those are my kind of long-winded thoughts on this palette but I think like because it's launch was so hyped and Sydney Grace is so hyped I felt like I I wanted to like kind of get into my thoughts about it let me know which look was your favorite I honestly don't know I think it might be the first one although I do really like this as well um thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the three looks one palette the other two palettes that are in this collection because they are coming I promise bye